Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Eonk here, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 5 news update. Today, I would like to talk about information released through the recent Ground Zeroes press release. There is nothing here that's mind blowingly new, but there are still some interesting tidbits here and there. At the very top is the new title for Ground Zeroes. Before, it was just Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, but due to confusion regarding how Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain are related to each other, it seems as though Kojima Productions has opted to name the prologue Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, which should help a little bit in clearing up confusion. The fact sheet then proceeds by introducing some basic facts about the game, most eye-catching of all being the game's release window of Spring 2014, which I discussed in a previous video. The fact sheet also reveals which platforms the game will be released on, and unfortunately, despite Kojima having shown interest in releasing a PC version of the game, PC isn't listed. In my opinion, I'm sure that both Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain will make their way to PC at some point, especially when you consider that a highlight feature of the Fox engine is its multi-platform development environment, but as for when this will happen, I cannot say. Something else that is interesting to note is the genre, which is labeled as action slash tactical espionage operations. Again, the game's freeform approach to missions through its open world structure, and with the base management feature making a return, it's no surprise that Peace Walker's tagline is used for this particular game. And finally, for this first section of the fact sheet, I would like to direct your attention to Players, which states that the game is purely single player. In other words, features like Metal Gear Online will likely be released with the Phantom Pain, and not with Ground Zeroes. Alright, moving on, we have a brief description of the game, which officially confirms that Ground Zeroes will be sold separately. It says, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is the first segment of the Metal Gear Solid 5 experience, and prologue to the larger second segment, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain launching thereafter. Other than that, the description once again reiterates that Ground Zeroes acts as a prologue to Phantom Pain to introduce both veteran MGS fans and new players to the radical new gameplay structure that the main game offers. The next portion of the fact sheet is labeled Key Features, which for the most part reiterates familiar facts, but one point of interest is under the Unrestricted Stealth category. Players use intelligence and cerebral strategy to sneak their way through entire missions, or go in all guns blazing. That last part concerns me a little bit. I hope Kojima and company don't make it too easy to just shoot your way through a mission. That would just defeat the whole purpose of a Metal Gear Solid game, but based on what I've seen from the demo shown for Tokyo Game Show, going in guns blazing doesn't really seem like a good idea or something that will be encouraged. Something else that interested me was the last sentence from this bullet point, which says, Each will have different effects on game consequences and advancement, which goes in line with a statement that Kojima made in the past talking about how player choice will play a significant role in this game, both in terms of gameplay and even a bit in terms of story. Unfortunately, it's hard to say exactly what these effects or consequences are, but we do know that the game's missions will feature some kind of ranking system similar to Peace Walker, so that's something. Also, I'm sure part of it has to do with what kinds of rewards you receive to upgrade your base and develop new weapons, but at this point, it's anyone's guess. The next bullet point of interest is multiple missions and tasks, which confirms that Ground Zeroes won't be some short demo or be comprised of a mission or two. The fact sheet clearly states that Ground Zeroes boasts a central story mode, which is likely divided into various missions, along with side ops ranging from tactical action, aerial assaults, and covert missions that will be sure to surprise. So not only will Ground Zeroes be a full-fledged game boasting a good number of missions, but they will also be varied. I'm particularly interested in what they mean by aerial assaults. It is a well-known fact by now that choppers play a much larger role in this game, and it has already been stated that choppers can be upgraded with things like miniguns, so perhaps these missions will involve controlling an armed chopper to achieve a certain goal. I can't say for sure, but my interest is definitely piqued. And finally, the last two bullet points also highlight familiar features, like the game's redesigned and very clean HUD, along with the fact that the game will be released for both current generation and next generation consoles, so I won't go into these. And that about sums up Ground Zero's fact sheet. Alongside it, Konami did release its own news excerpt, which you can find on the front page of Konami.com. But apart from pricing, which I've already talked about in one of my previous videos, there's not much new information there. So with 
with that, I would like to conclude this news update, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on Metal Gear Solid 5, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and Young out. Yes, I will.